my berries is sherry the berry here and as you can see i am doing a story time valentine's day edition okay how was it valentine's day because i attempted a pink eyeshadow get into it if you did see my previous video you know i'm not too good with makeup but i'm getting that so don't judge me judge yourself and i have the ultimate valentine's day dessert strawberries so we'll be smacking on my strawberries as i tell my story time about how my makeup got jacked up when i went to sephora for my 22nd birthday fyi i am now 25 birthday was january 29th i'm in the aquarius woo -woo. like this video if you are an aquarius as well so wait, i gotta get my pillow together it's comfy but i gotta make sure so wait, happy Valentine's Day, what y'all doing? Even if you're by yourself or with somebody special, just make sure you're having fun. Make sure you eat a lot of candy. Make sure you eat a lot of strawberries and just have fun. If you don't have nobody, it's fine. You'll have somebody tomorrow or next year or the next five years or it's, it's okay. We are all alone some days in our life. Again, I was 22 years old going to Sephora. So I live in Chicago, so I went to the Sephora that was downtown. Me and my best friend had a agreement. She was gonna take pictures of me, um, like downtown, in the downtown area. I just wanted to get my makeup done because again, I'm not too good with makeup. I wasn't even this okay with makeup three years ago. So I could spend $50 at Sephora and they'll give me a free makeup look. So I wanted a soft glam. I didn't want a lot of stuff done to my face. I wanted a little eyeshadow. I wanted an even face to so give me a good um, foundation, a little lipstick, something real slight, but like, ooh, she don't make up, she cute or whatever, you know? So I'll make my appointment, right? When I call like, hi, I think I did the appointment at like 10 o'clock. I'm like, yeah, I wanna come in at 10 o'clock. Um, I want a soft glam look, blah, 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 blah. They booked me, good to go. Okay, so it's the day. I get up. Something made me late. Either I couldn't find my wallet or something. I made it there, long story short, at like 10.15ish. I know, I know. So I go down, I'm like, yeah, my name is Sherry, and I'm coming here for a appointment because I have an appointment. She was like, oh, we don't take anybody that is 15 minutes or um, later. I'm like, darn. I'm just like, I know I'm running a little late, but you know, it's, it's 10, 15 now. Is it okay? Like, my bad, because I do be late. That's probably proper protocol. Don't take somebody 15 minutes late, but I'm just like, I'm on the 15 minute mark. Like, just come on, take me, let's go. So luckily she, she takes me. I sit down and it was like, somebody will be with you shortly. I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. It's so formal. For my 21st birthday, I got makeup done. This picture right here. Makeup was cute, I loved it. She did everything right. It came out right, so she did everything right. So it was cute to me, so it was cool. So I sit down and then a woman come over, a Sephora woman comes over and she is pale. Like she's so pale, like I'm not making fun of her at all. I'm just saying she's very pale compared to my skin tone. And when you have a certain technique you do for your skin tone, it can be a little different when you go into a darker, a whole nother complexion, like a whole nother scale from like your skin tone to another skin tone. Maybe she could have had experience, that was just my prejudgment. Um, when she first walked up to me, which I was right, but we're going to get there later. So she comes up to me. She was, you know, fairly nice or whatever. So I'm like, hi. And she just asked me, like, why am I getting my makeup done? I'm just like, oh, it's my birthday. My best friend's going to come down to the city. And we're going to take pictures and blah, blah, blah. And we're having small talk. She just telling me the um, cleanser she's putting on me and all that good stuff. So first thing, I need a strawberry. Hold on. So first thing she do is like wiping my skin, but it's like she keeps snagging my nose ring. And but she keeps saying like, oh, my bad, my bad. You know when you do something, you switch it up to prevent it. Like you're not gonna keep doing it because you're obviously gonna get the same result. But I feel like she kept like sweeping over my nose ring, which it hurt for whatever reason. I may have changed it, my nose ring recently. So it was pretty sensitive. So I'm like, okay, I'm like, ah, you know, I'm doing love little jerks in the chair like okay and then she ended up snatching my nose ring completely out and at this point i was just like okay um 
the, out. You, you couldn't be a little more careful. You snagged it at least three or four times. Like, you, you kept saying sorry. You should have been a bit more careful. Like, once you snag it one time, it's like, okay, let me make sure I don't snag it again. Like, don't look around and talk to your coworkers and do that. Like, come on now. Come, come, girl. So, um, I hit on nails. So, it wasn't that easy putting that nose ring back in. Probably took me about a good two minutes. And that's a nice amount of time when you are in somebody's chair. They waiting for you. So she gets a little tool to um, match my skin tone to a color. That is when Fenty Head first came out, the regular, um, the first, you know, foundation, not the hydrating one, but the regular foundation, it came out, you know, everybody was hyped for it because it was a great foundation. And um, she matched that pretty well, but she did not color correct under my eyes. As you guys know, if you have seen my, my other videos, especially my skincare videos, when I don't have any makeup on, I have discoloration under my eyes and slightly up around my mouth. And she did not color correct. So when she put on my foundation, okay, it was decent. But then she put on this super light concealer under my eyes. She looked at me and she was looking kind of crazy. But I don't even know what shade it was. I don't think it was Fenty. I think it was a whole nother, it was a whole nother brand. It was not Fenty at all. And it was super light because I believe she was trying to correct under my eyes by using a lighter concealer, which is not the way you're supposed to do it. Me right now, knowing that you you cannot do that. Like that's not how you do makeup. That's not how you conceal a dark skinned person. I can see if you can build a concealer up, but using a light, like her tone type thing. She even explained to me, she was like, yeah, in the Fenty um, shade, I'm a number one, or oh, the palest one, she said. And I was like, oh, that's crazy, um, but that's good. You know, Rihanna made, you know, skin tones for you. You know, make it small talk. But as we pro um, start progressing throughout the makeup look, first, I'm not really looking at it. But then, once she put that concealer on, I was like, what? I wish I had a picture for y'all. I'm so sorry. I hope y'all can picture it. But... Imagine me with a face on, right? Eyebrows, they pretty much done. They not that bad. I have on foundation, but just picture white underneath my eye, right? Then, once it started, what is it called? Diluting? Not diluting. What's that makeup word called? When it start like setting into your skin? Y'all know. When it starts setting into your skin, it turned gray. It was gray. The concealer was gray underneath her. And I can see it in her eyes. She knew she messed up. She knew she messed up. So I'm, I'm not feeling too good about it. At this point, we have foundation on. We have the horrible white concealer on. She didn't conceal on my nose or my forehead or my chin or my upper lip. She didn't do that, which was amazing because that would have just looked horrible as well. So she was like, what kind of eyeshadow do you want? I'm like, you know, like a soft glam. So give me like some, some like glitter neutral type color. She was like, okay. She did that. I think it was fine or whatever. Then she put some um, liner on me. That was okay. Then she was like, let's put some liner underneath. And I was like, no, I'm not a big, let me put a liner underneath my eyes type thing. So I already have small eyes. I, I guess that brightens it up. I don't think so. I think it makes my eyes look smaller. I was like, no, 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 I don't think so. She was like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. I think she was just trying to cover up the fact that she messed up under my eyes. So even when I told her, no, she was like, no, no, trust me, trust me. I know how to do this. Trust me, I know. And she put some black liner under my eye and to hype herself up and to try to hype me up because she saw my face. I was in that chair like this. When I say it was gray under here, it was gray because she did not color correct. And she tried to correct it by putting on some, some liner, some black liner under my eyes. I say, hmm? Hmm? And she gonna try to hype me up to some yes queen. Yes, mm-hmm, yes. I saw your face, girl. You knew you messed up. Okay, so it's almost done, right? So she put my lashes on, cute. Then she was like, um, what kind of lipstick you want? I'm like, yeah, let me get like a neutral lip. 
similar to this, like a brownish, nudish type thing. That's what I was, um, you know, going for. This lady did not pick out that for me. She did not know how to match a dark skinned girl. She did not know how to do makeup for a dark skinned girl. I am just gonna say that, not saying because of her race. I'm just saying maybe she just used to performing and doing makeup on lighter skinned women or males, you know, whoever, just doing makeup on lighter tones because she did horrible for me. She could not, she could not do it. The only thing she did right was the foundation and that's because she had that matching stick thing. That's the only reason, only reason. I'm not even sure why she didn't use a concealer that um, correlates with the, the foundation for Fenty. Don't know why she didn't do that. Maybe, she, I don't know. But anyway, she picks out a nude. The nude was the color of this. This on my lips is horrible. Even the liner that she used was light. And the fact that she didn't even try to correct it, and I'm just like, oh no, I think this is a little light. She was, no, you're fine. No, 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 queen, you're fine. And I was boiling. First of all, I feel like she was rushing me and rushing the whole process. So at this point, I been in a chair for about 45 minutes and I have, I have a full face of makeup, gray under my eyes. I have black thick liner cause she smoked it out. Cause, oh, I forgot to tell y'all that. Not only did she put liner under Nifa, she decides to smoke it out. Now I look like a raccoon. I look like a whole raccoon. I wish I had the pictures. I'm so sorry. I hope y'all follow along with me. After everything is done, I'm looking in the mirror. My lips are super light, so like a... Uh, smoke crack or I just like a duck because when I wear a light color, if it's a color like this pillow or like this cup and it's on my lips, I would like a duck, period. I was like, I feel like you should have color correct because it's looking, you know, it's looking light. And she's behind me because we're both looking to the mirror because I'm we pretty much dumb at this point. She can see that I'm not happy. And she just like, hmm. Um, you look beautiful, Queen. I I don't see what I don't see what you're talking about. And I'm looking like I wanted to get another employee. Like, do you see what's wrong with my face? Like, don't you see? Like, I, am I? I'm not crazy, right? Don't you see that I look crazy? And then I was like, Are you sure? I'm like, Are you sure? She was like, Oh, we can try to fix something. She got a darker concealer and tried to do that. But of course, it creased up because she was packing on Casilla under my eyes. So I was like, okay. And I just thanked her for her service. She jacked me up. And she did not care. And she was rushing. So I just feel like I had to accept it. So at this point, I'm like, okay, it's nothing I can really do. And I'm feeling super embarrassed. I did not want to show my face. So I got my coat and I went outside. I don't want nobody to see my face. I don't want... Not a single person to see my face. Let me show you how I walked outside. I was on the corner of Michigan Avenue just like this. I was hiding my face. Somebody probably thought I was trying to rob them or something. I didn't want nobody to see my face. I was waiting for my dad to come pick me up. I was on the corner of Michigan Avenue. If you're not from Chicago, it's a really busy street. Whether it's snowing, raining, sunshine, any, any weather is super um, crowded there. I was like this. When I say I did not want nobody to see my face because I'm like a raccoon, a human raccoon, she jacked me up. She did not care. She didn't care about how I felt about it. She didn't care how I wanted my makeup to be. She just thought she knew what she wanted to do when she realized that she could not do a darker skin tone. She didn't even, you know, try to give my suggestions. And when I tried to correct her, like she got an attitude. Ma'am, this is my birthday. These are my pictures. First of all, it was horrible. If you, you know, want your makeup done and at Sephora, make sure you say, yeah, can a person that do my makeup be experienced in doing darker skin tones? Because we have to, us as dark skinned women, we kind of have to do that. I have learned that. When I came home, I shot to the bathroom and I wiped that completely off. When I say I was embarrassed about how I looked, I was so embarrassed. I wiped it all off. I just 
forget the fifty dollars. I did not even care about the fifty dollars anymore. I didn't deserve that. But these are how my pictures came out for my twenty second birthday. I just tried to do something really quick to my face. I kept my lashes on. I just tried to just fix up what I could because she jacked me up. And I used to see her often. I used to work down there as well. And I used to be like, you snatched my nose ring out and you made like a raccoon. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this story time, you are the truest berry of the bunch. I was gonna do a story time before cause y'all wasn't rocking with them, but I really want to do this one and I hope y'all like it. If y'all don't, I'm sorry. I'll do better next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a happy Valentine's Day. Thank you.